is your mate, Billy Hayden. How are you, Bill? Missed out on the big job, eh? No, never mind. You'll have no trouble getting the doll, will you? Eh? Without television, just think for a minute. Here's a, here's a good thought. Without television, this function tonight would be called 67 Years of Radio. <laughs> Without television, there'd be no TV week. No TV week. What a gaping hole in the world of literature that would leave. <laughs> Just think. To never again read, star dices with death. <laughs> Why Judy Lynn wrestles with funnel web spiders. <laughs> Underwater. Next week exclusive. Full page colour photograph of Mike Minahan. Skydiving in the nude. <laughs> with a duck in his mouth. <laughs> Viewers, it's no use, I can't go on with these frivolities. Not while the whole country's in terrible danger. Someone's got to say it, television is not a harmless toy. It is a powerful, evil force. And we're all in danger from it right now. That's right, don't try and stop me. Peter Feynman's reaching for that switch, but if you turn me off, Feynman, you'll never see your parrot alive again. <laughs> you see, viewers, the problem, the danger is that television goes through the air. As you know, not through the wires, love. Give yourself away. As you know, television is pumped out into the airwaves by the channels. And your antenna plucks it out of the air and translates it onto your screen. Now, because there are several million viewers out there, they pump out several million copies of every program. <laughs> so if we all want to watch, say, 60 minutes, everyone gets a good picture, right? Works out pretty well. But what about the television duds? The turkeys that no one wants to watch? Making time. <laughs> Arcade. <laughs> Half of the programs produced by John Collins. <laughs> they're pumping those turkeys out, they don't turn down the power, you know. They still pump out millions of copies of every show. Even if it's Izzy Die in concert. <laughs> millions of copies of those turkeys being pumped out into the air and only a handful of them being picked up by viewers. Have you ever thought, where do all those turkeys go? <laughs> they don't just vanish, you know. Matter is perpetual, they're still out there now. And viewers, I know where they are. Just think for a minute, what is the most effective household device, common device for picking up a television picture? The best makeshift aerial. <laughs> the wire coat hanger. At this very moment, in every home, in every wardrobe. It's not too deep for you, is it? These little buggers are hanging there. <laughs> trying to look innocent. <laughs> while quietly and efficiently sucking from the airwaves. <laughs> countless thousands of hours of diabolical TV rubbish. <laughs> I'm waiting, just waiting for that dark night when you open that wardrobe door. <laughs> and 25 years of diabolical TV garbage <laughs> will come flooding out. <laughs> Viewers, wherever you're watching, it's not too late. <laughs> I want you to get up out of your chairs. <laughs> Go out to your wardrobes. <laughs> Rip all these devilish hangers out and mangle them. Destroy them before they destroy you, that's all I can say. <laughs> Save yourselves for it's too late. Paul, 
Hogan. We're back with you soon. Life of filth and pornography. Never! Tuesday at 9.05, tune in for a laugh or two in the Paul Hogan Show. Thank God she's all right. She's still heavy breathing. Are those snags ready yet, dear? <laughs> British Airways presents the Paul Hogan Show. 9.05, Tuesday on 9. The range of wine and the low prices at Coles New World licensed supermarkets are amazing enough. But a half-price wine sale? Sensational. And the savings are sensational with Stonyfield Table Wines. Great value at one twenty-five. Casino Trocken, and half-price special only three thirty-five. Taranga Estate Dry Red, extremely good value at one forty-five. And San Bernardino Rummy Port, another great half-price special at only one ninety-five. Don't miss the half-price wine sale at Coles New World licensed supermarkets. Put this blindfold on, okay? Now, smell this. Um, wild blossoms? Oh, perfume. Mm -mm. It's Camé. Camé with a wild blossom fragrance. <laughs> what are you doing? Mmm, feels nice. Now I can really smell the wild blossom. To me, it just smells wild. Wild Blossom, the wild and beautiful new fragrance from Camé. When you come right down to it, Australia is no place for a sooty tyre. It takes an Australian to love a country like this. It takes an Australian tyre to come to grips with it. Olympic is the tyre that was born here. The tyre that grew up in our cities, grew tough in our bush. The tyre that has been driving a rough Australia for nearly 50 years. This country demands Olympic because Australia is hell on wheels. We give it all, our love. We barbecue it slow, you know it really shows. We give it all, our love. Red Rooster's delicious Hawaiian bag. If you can't make it to Hawaii, well, at least you can get a taste for it. Red Rooster barbecue, we cook it just for you. We give it all. Childhood. They call the happiest days of your life childhood. And from the start, happiness was the theme of TV children's shows. One of the earliest GTV9 children's programs was even named after its compere, Happy. With his check hat, his check coat, and his smiling countenance, he was a performer who was always, dare I say, finger clicking good. Happy Hammond. was always a key area in advising children, like this episode of a program on water safety, presented by Bruce Menzies. Ampol, marketers of a complete range of petroleum products, presents the Ampol Junior Car Club, direct from Ampol Park. Gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to the Ampar Junior Car Club. Welcome, Bruce. Now, here's a real favourite. Do you recall Bozo the Clown? Yes. He was always good for a laugh. On you as possible when I finish blowing the whistle the second time. Are you ready to play the game? All right, here we go. And look at the balloons. There they are, floating in the air with the greatest of ease. Let's give a hand for the balloons. Oh, here comes some. There are the balloons. Wonderful. 
for balloons. Yes, sir. They're floating all over the place. Get them into the center ring, fellas. Will you do that? Let's get them all into the center ring. Buzz, I couldn't be with us this evening. He is now very happily ensconced in his new job as a bus driver in Michigan. <laughs> you know, many of today's celebrities emerged from the, the children's show area of television. Some, even more fortunate, went on to, to marry their early idols in the industry. Uh, as, <laughs> as, the, uh, as the idols soared to even greater heights, the luckiest, of course, was, was one lady who wed a man who today is one of the industry's immortals. Then came the influence of the Bee Gees. happy together. <laughs> you know, the world of children's programs was essentially one of, what, make-believe, warmth and living happily ever after. Apart from Happy Hammond and Desmond Tester, there were Joffa Boy, Penny Spence, King Corky, Ian Fairweather, Rod Hull, Skeeter and many others. The children who laughed at them are more than likely watching with their children tonight. And their great traditions are followed today by performers who work to a, a whole new generation. In a changed world, children still search for their heroes. And to pay tribute to these heroes, here is one of today's heroes, Daryl Summers. In a world of pure imagination Take a look and you'll see Into your imagination We'll begin with a spin Traveling in the world of my creation What we'll see will defy Explanation Now if you want to view a paradise Simply look around and view it Anything you want to do it You want to change the world There's nothing to it There is no that I know to compare with pure imagination living there. You'll be free 